Hey guys, Noah here, and welcome to a new segment of the channel we're calling Noah's Narrations. This is where we'll be bringing you stories that were completely written by AI and narrated by myself. Most of these stories will feature full-on adult erotica, and will explore various topics and fetishes that will be on the mature side, as well as feature spicier stories that are a little out of the comfort zone, but I want to explore anyway. This wasn't originally what this channel was intended for, but we want to branch out a little and try new things. A lot of these stories will be strictly for mature audiences only. But for now, I want to start off with something light. This is a story about a boy who refused to conform to gender norms. It was just another day at Jefferson High School, and as usual, I was dreading it. Ever since I started expressing my true self by wearing long, thigh-high socks and a mini skirt, the bullying had been relentless. The jocks would taunt me in the hallways, calling me names like Freak and Weirdo. The girls would giggle behind my back, whispering things like, What is he wearing? And he's such a loser. It seemed like there was no escape from the constant torment. But it wasn't just at school that I felt like an outcast. At home, things were even worse. My parents didn't understand or accept me for who I truly was, and they made sure to let me know it every chance they got. My father would yell at me to man up and stop being such a disappointment, while my mother would cry and tell me that I was breaking her heart. All of this made for a pretty miserable existence, but somehow I managed to keep going. Deep down inside, I knew that there had to be more to life than this. I refused to let the bullies and the haters bring me down. So every morning, I put on my brave face and my mini skirt and faced the world with as much confidence as I could muster. Today started off like any other day. As soon as I walked through the front doors of Jefferson High School, the whispers and snickers began. But instead of letting them get to me like usual, something inside of me snapped. Enough was enough. I marched over to where the jocks were gathered by their lockers and confronted them head on. Why do you guys always have to pick on me? I demanded. They looked taken aback by my sudden burst of confidence. One of them stepped forward and said with a smirk, Because you're a freak, dude. No one wears that kind of stuff unless they're trying to get attention. I took a deep breath and said, I'm not trying to get attention. I'm just being true to myself. And if you have a problem with that, then that's your problem, not mine. There was a moment of silence as my words sank in. Then, to my surprise, the jock who had been doing most of the taunting nodded and said, You know what? You're right. We've been acting like jerks. It's not cool to make fun of someone just because they're different. The other jocks looked at him in disbelief. He turned to them and said, What? I'm serious. This guy has more courage than any of us combined. We should be applauding him, not tearing him down. The other jocks nodded in agreement and apologized for their behavior. I was stunned. I never expected this kind of reaction from them. From that day forward, things started to change for me at Jefferson High School. The bullying stopped almost entirely, and instead of whispers and snickers, I started to hear words of encouragement and support from my classmates. Even some of the girls who used to giggle at me started coming up to me and saying things like, You're such an inspiration, and I wish I had your confidence. But perhaps the biggest surprise came from my parents. One night at dinner, after months of tense silence, my father cleared his throat and said, I want you to know that your mother and I have been doing some thinking lately, and we've realized that we haven't been very supportive of you or accepting of who you are, and we want to apologize for that. My mother reached across the table and took my hand. We love you no matter what, she said with tears in her eyes. And we want you to be happy. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It was like a dream come true. From that day forward, my parents became my biggest cheerleaders. They attended P-Flag meetings with me, read books and articles about gender identity, and even helped me pick out new outfits that expressed my true self. Life had finally become everything I had always hoped it could be. And it was all because I had the courage to be myself and stand up to the bullies. So if there's one lesson I've learned from all of this, 
it's that no matter how hard things may seem, never give up on yourself. You are stronger than you think, and there are people out there who will love and accept you for who you truly are. You just have to have the courage to be yourself and let them in. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot as it does help this channel grow. Well, until next time, guys. Take care.